What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new edition of WWE Action Figure Surgery. Yes, bro, we are back at it again, man. I am very excited here. I don't remember what episode we're on now. We're in the 80s, you know. We're slowly approaching the 100 mark. Hopefully, we can get to the 100 mark by the end of 2023, maybe at the beginning of 2024. But I don't want to look too far ahead. I just want to take what we have now, enjoy each episode as it comes, and just break it all down, man. But I think today we got some pretty cool fix-ups. Very heavily Bloodline and Rock and Sock Connection. I don't know why I said Rock and Sock Connection. We got the Rock featured, but we also have Roman Reigns, the Tribal Chief. We got the Bloodline. We got all the good stuff going on. I'm excited for today. I did pick up a couple extra figures. I added them in here today, and I think we got some good stuff going, man. Not only are we going to be fixing up figures, but we're also going to be showcasing a few because I did a couple tweaks, and I also upgraded some figures, and I don't think I showed them on the channel. I showed them on my Instagram page. If you guys want to keep updates with the channel, things of that nature, go over to our Instagram at MyDamnToys and follow us over there. I'd greatly appreciate it. You get some behind-the-scenes stuff you don't see on the YouTube channel, just like on the YouTube channel, you see stuff that you don't see on Instagram. So it's very important that you follow both because we post all kinds of different stuff here and there and everywhere. So let's dive into our surgery today. But before we do so, huge shout out to our patrons, man. Love everybody over there. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron of the MDT channel, click the link in the description below. Monthly figure giveaway every month and lots of other bonus content over there for you. But with that being said, man, let's dive into our surgery, starting out with who is on the stretcher as we always do, and that is Seth freaking Rollins. I picked this up from Amazon. I got this from Amazon. They had it at a really good deal, and I wanted to pick an extra up. I think it was like retail or just below retail. I can't remember exactly, but I grabbed this and a Top Talents John Cena, the newest Top Talents John Cena with the 16x Super Mario gear. So I wanted to grab a couple of those just simply for, you know, future John Cena fix-ups, but also this Seth Rollins because I love this figure and I love this freaking coat. This coat is incredible. So what we're going to do is we're going to be taking this Elite 99 Rollins. I apologize for the camera still, man. I'm working on it. I'm working on getting a new camera, but between that and WrestleMania access and trying to get my ducks in a row... The camera breaking really did me in, man. That really pissed me off and upset me greatly, but we're going to do the best we can here. So we do have both elite Seth Rollins here. I have the Fan Central over here, the Fan Takeover Seth Rollins from WrestleMania 35. We have the Elite 99 Rollins, and then we have my WrestleMania 36 Rollins, in which we're going to fix up here today. Now, I already have one of these. We already fixed up the Elite 99 Rollins, but I wanted to take this figure, kind of like a three-trade deal. You guys know we love three-way deals here on the MDT YouTube channel as far as action figure surgery is concerned. We'll take three different figures and, and throw them in a pile and see what the hell comes out. So, taking these three guys right here, I'm going to take the jacket off the Elite 99 and put it over here on the WrestleMania 36. Now, I know it's not an accurate jacket to what he wore at WrestleMania. I know he had more of like that Iron Sheik retro, you know, GameStop exclusive style entrance gear going on, but I think this jacket will still look badass on this figure here. So I'm looking forward to that fix up. I'm also going to take the head sculpt from this figure and put it over here and uh, just have this head sculpt over here with no jacket on it because I think it's going to be a nice little gear. And I'm still working on some stuff behind the scenes. Like I'm thinking about maybe buying another one of these and just painting it. You know what I'm saying? Just go crazy on the paint job. Like paint it up in some pink. Add some different layers to it and see if we can give him like a pick fed gear or something. And then this guy will just be chilling. You guys, if you guys were unaware, I have like nine of these for no reason. Like, what, how many do I got over there? One, two, three. Too many to count. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to take these guys. We're going to fix them up, put them all together, and see what the hell comes of it. Still don't know how we never got this figure in elite form or ultimate form, but uh, maybe one day. Maybe one day. They always give him freaking WrestleMania figures in just freaking just basic form, man. Like, we, who, who the hell wants that? Next up, I do got to give a shout out to one of my patron members. His name is Sean Cook. He hit me up with this idea, and I've seen this idea before, but he actually gave me the inspiration to actually bring it to fruition. And the other day at my Walmart, I found the, wall, the, the WrestleMania shipper, and I found the complete WrestleMania Build-A-Figure Mean Gene, except for the head sculpt. Didn't need the head sculpt. I literally got it for the suited body. So I'm going to make a suited body Sting figure from his Hall of Fame induction, but we're going to be using the unrivaled or unmatched head sculpt here. This is the Walmart exclusive Sting. I have a couple of these already, so I'm just going to take the head sculpt. I think the AEW head sculpt is the best. I'm going to take this off and see if we can put it over here on this body, see what it looks like, and then at a later date, I will paint it and make it look like Sting without face paint from his Hall of Fame induction. So that is what my plan is for this Sting right here. 
We'll see what comes of it, but a huge shout-out to Sean Cook for kind of planting the idea in my brain. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. And, uh, I've, again, I've seen people do it before, but I've never I've never attempted it myself. So that'll be really fun to try as well. What else we got over here? Next up, we have The Rock. So The Rock figure right here, this is going to be eventually, this is going to be a 2001 Rock. And 2001 Rock is going to be the team just bring it white shirt, and then he's going to have jogging pants on. I'm going to take the knee pad, the knee pads. I'm going to take the, I mean, I probably do need to take the knee pads off because it would make it way better articulated when I do take, uh, when I put some pants on them. But I'm going to take the elbow pads off, and I have a custom order of shirts in the works, and uh, that just kind of rhymed, but... We're going to take a shirt, put it on here, take some pants, put it on here, and I'm going to try to give him that 01 look that I love so much. So this head sculpt works perfectly for the era, and that's what I wanted to do with it. I love this figure. This is my second time owning this. And since I bought the full wave the other day at Walmart to get that Mean Gene Build-A-Figure, I went ahead and uh, just copped another rock. I almost ordered it on Amazon, but it was in my face, you know? Like, when you find a figure at retail, much more likely to purchase it rather than buying it online. By order of convenience, by order of things like that. So we do have the rock here. We're going to fix up a little bit today with some jogging pants, which are over here. We also have, good God. And then we have a shish ton of Uso figures. Now, I guess before we get into the fix-ups, let's go ahead and showcase these, man. I don't know if I showcased these on the channel specifically. I know I did a full video on, like, the Bloodline or the SummerSlam, Jay Uso, and then the Top Picks Jimmy Uso right here. They are in their Bloodline pants, man. Like, these are the official elites right here. We did a full video on it. Mattel sent these out to us. Greatly appreciate those. So we do have these in their full get-ups, but I wanted to showcase them. God in heaven. I wanted to showcase these in their entirety because... I did put all the accessories on. So they got the We The One shirt. You got the Roman here and the Joggers. We also did a tutorial video on this fix up here with the watch and the no gauntlets in the black Uso Joggers, things of that nature. So if you guys want to check out that video, that's on the channel as well. It's sort of like a tutorial on how to do that yourselves. And then we have the Top Picks and the SummerSlam Elites here with the Elite 64 jackets, some custom shirts from PWR Lucha, and then the Elite 95 J uh, Jimmy Uso hats on there. And it makes for some pretty damn sick fix-ups, man. So I just wanted to showcase these in the video. Even if we're not doing any work to them today, I just, again, I wanted to show them off because they look so damn beautiful. So, there's our bloodline. They look absolutely epic, and uh, these are going to be my bloodline elites for MDT Live once that's posted. Wink, wink. So, we have our bloodline figures over here, and now we're getting into our bloodline fix-ups. Now, I'm trying to think exactly what the hell I had planned here. Because I'm trying to think about it. I did. I definitely wanted to. I think I. Okay. I think I got it right here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to be taking this Elite 64 Jimmy with the Elite. Elite 64 Jimmy. We have Elite 64 J. I think what I was going to do is I was going to try and like sort of mismatch all these older elites and like newer elites with their head sculpts. So I think what I wanted to do was I had these extra Jimmy head sculpts. So I'm going to put these new extra Jimmys on these Jimmys because this head sculpt is dreadful as hell. That figure right there was god awful. At least the head sculpt was. It got drugged through the mud. They just can't get Jimmy right, man. What the hell is this? So we're going to take this Jimmy head sculpt, Jimmy. And we're going to put it on the Elite 64 and the Elite 54. And then we're going to take the Elite 64 head and put it on my black jogger Jimmy over here. So we kind of change it up just a little bit. This is the old one. I need to put these J's on to my, uh, my new Jimmy. But uh, that hasn't happened yet. So we have that. And then I'm going to put this J head sculpt over on the white Elite. And then put the, uh, the newer J... This head sculpt right here, we're going to put this on the Elite 64. So when it's all said and done, this figure's head will be here. The Elite 64 will be over here. This will be over here. These two will be over here. And then we're going to put these black with the one shirts on the red Usos. And then we're going to put the white Bloodline shirts on these white Usos. And I know that Jimmy's shoes are red, but I actually have a pair of white kicks to give them all white looks. So there you go. Yeah, it's a lot. I know it's a lot, all right? Just breathe. Just breathe. It's a lot, but I think I have it right in my brain, and that's what matters most. So let's shut the hell up, dive into surgery, and get this party started with some action figure surgery. Kick it over to Dr. Whitekiss in the surgical table. All right, man, so our first order of business, I guess, could just be... Let's get into Seth Rollins, man. Actually, some of this stuff doesn't even need heat, which is always beautiful, but for this first Seth Rollins fix-up that we have is going to be in the WrestleMania 36 gear, and also, I freaking hate this camera, man. I mean, it's not bad quality, don't get me wrong, but, like, when you're so used to something and then it changes when you don't expect it and it just drops like a damn hammer on your face, you know, it, it just it, it can get a little irritating there, Brad. Getting into it, man... 
Don't need to heat him up, and I actually, we don't have to heat up this guy either because his head pops right off. But one thing I do worry about is trying to get this jacket onto that figure over there because, if you guys were unaware, those hands are not removable. Those are Elite 45 Seth Rollins arms, which means his hands are not easily removable. You have to heat them up with heat, and I'm not doing that, so we're just going to have to force that jacket over there. But we can plop this head off. This guy is good to go. We are going to put a head sculpt on him so we can just plop that up there. He doesn't need any heat whatsoever, so he's going to go over here with this jacket. We're going to put that jacket on that Rollins over there. These hands will go in here eventually, but this Seth Rollins, you know, it's, it's Elite 45 fixed up, but it's still trash. We don't need it. We don't like it. We don't want it. We can also come over here, and this head is not easily removable. We will have to heat him up with the good old white trusty hair dryer. But before we do so, we are going to remove his vest right here. That way we don't, uh, if you guys are unaware, I say it a lot on surgery, but I always like to put the PSA out there that if you don't want to like morph your rubber accessories, man, these rubber accessories, especially Roman Reigns vest, that's where I learned my lesson. These vests like this and Roman Reigns, if they get heated up, they kind of like shrink up and they'll like morph them. And once they're morphed, they're gone forever. They will never go back to the way they were. And I learned that with a Roman Reigns trying to heat up a head sculpt one time. It shrunk the vest up and it made the vest look like this right here. Never could fix it, ruined my fix up. And I'm pretty sure I paid like $30 for a basic just for the vest, just to make a fix up Roman. Never the same ever again, Brad. And that's why... Let that be a lesson in why you don't need 87 Roman Reigns figures. Now, next up we're going to get the Seth Rollins head sculpt right here. We're going to heat that head up, and I'm not going to heat this vest up. Even though I have a million of these, I still don't want to heat that up and ruin it. So, we do have to also heat up our terrible-looking Elite 64, no, Elite 54. Jimmy Uso here with this head sculpt. Head sculpt looks absolutely atrocious. However, uh, that was a long time ago. We've, we've forgiven him for that. You know what I'm saying? We've forgiven him for that. That rubber accessory is not really good anyway, so we're going to heat up both of these head sculpts together. There. Go ahead and... All right, those guys are ready to go. We also have to switch his shoes at one point, but I don't think we're quite ready for that. We can also heat up these, th these two Usos here. So we have this Jimmy here. So we got two Jimmys, and then we have a J over here. No Jimmy jacket today. Or we, I guess we featured two Jimmy jackets at the beginning, but we don't have any to heat up or, you know, swap around here today. We're going to leave these guys just like that. I think this should be easy enough. We're going to get the beam of light going right through here, heat that up, and then we should be able... I'm going to go ahead and move this just because, you know, I just don't, I, you don't want to catch any strays. You don't want anybody catching any casualties out here. Do things the right way, and, uh, you know, you'll get rewarded for it here. So, I got to get the white trusty hair dryer. He's not even plugged in, Brad. Not even plugged in. L look at him. Look at him. Unprepared to come to work, man. Jesus Christ. Got to do everything around here. I'm a one-man show. I am getting this set up, and I am ready to go. And we're going to go ahead and hit this. Alright guys, that should be plenty enough. If not, I'll fail miserably and want to cry about it, but here's our first Jimmy. Oh my lord, I forgot how small they make those neck pegs. Or not neck pegs, they make the holes for the neck pegs so small. Alright, we got the Jimmy off. I'm going to go ahead and plop this onto our Elite 95. That way it's done. And I should probably make it interchangeable, but you know what, Brad? It's already on there now. Can't do nothing about it now. Next up, we have J here, and this J... Oh my god in heaven again, man. If I break one of these neck pegs, I'm gonna break my own neck. So that's something we don't need to happen. I may have to heat that up again. I don't trust it. So what was I gonna put on this? Oh yeah, it's it's ones that aren't heated up. That's good. Okay, so now we gotta come over here to this Jimmy. All right, we got that off. Should I put this on a figure? <laughs> Absolutely not. We got that Jimmy. That'll go over there. And then now we have both of our bodies ready. We just need... We need this J right here to come off. But it doesn't seem like it got enough heat. And that really bothers me. However, Rollins right here... Rollins did come off. We haven't broken a neck peg in a really long time. And I probably shouldn't have said that out loud. Because now, I mean, what are we doing? But I'm going to go ahead and stick this head sculpt over here... And I know it's not accurate to the time, but at a certain juncture, man, I'm just trying to make fix-up Seth Rollins, you know what I mean? So I'm not, it's not anything nutty. 
And I apologize for the lack of focus sometimes. It's because this camera is a piece of shish. And it doesn't have... I'm pretty sure it has autofocus. It just doesn't want to work for me. And I haven't figured out the setting or something like that. But we have our Rollins over here. We're going to sit him over to the side. So we have two figures completed and uh, a little bit more to go here before we reach the finale. But this Rollins right here is pretty much done. I don't know what I would need this for. Now it's just an empty body. Well, I guess, again, I could take, like... I guess so he won't be headless on the shelf. I guess I could just take the Elite 99 and just plop this on here. So there you go. I mean, it's not great. It's not horrible. We'll live with it. I just realized the ab crunch on this Seth Rollins is super stuck. Oh my god. Okay, I got it. That's the tightest ab crunch I've ever seen on an Elite. Unfortunate you can't have that on every single one. Nonetheless, I guess before we heat up the other J, I'm going to try and slide this jacket onto this Seth Rollins. And it's going to look completely fire if we can get the god darn jacket onto the Seth Rollins and it's actually not looking too great but I forced it and it worked and I'm not ever taking this jacket off ever again unless I just need it for one specific you know crazy amazing reason I'm never taking this jacket off of this Rollins so boom there we go look at that right oh my oh my god we'll look at him at the end you know no spoilers here but that's looking pretty daggum good bro so that Rollins is done all right, I just heated up this Jimmy head sculpt again, and I got it that time at expense of Dr. Whitekiss's hands here. But we're going to plug this on to here, and now I have like an updated old school J, kind of. I almost said Jimmy. That's because there's so many god dang Jimmys around here, bro. Um, and now what we can do is we can take our Elite 64 J and put on this updated J head sculpt, and we'll look at him in a moment. And then we can take our two Jimmies. I think these are Jimmy. Yeah, they're Jimmies. We take this Jimmy, put the Elite 95 Jimmy head sculpt on that. Take our Elite 64 and put this Jimmy on here as well. All right, man. Now we're getting somewhere. Now what we have to do, I don't know. What other heat do we need? We gotta heat up Jimmy's shoes, for the love of God. I mean, the red shoes aren't bad, but... I already have a Jimmy with this exact look, and I want the all-white look here, so I'm going to be heating these up and putting on these white shoes. And I don't think I need any other heat today on anything. I'm going to go ahead and hit these really quick, switch them over. Let's see what we got. Should be relatively simple here. Got that. And we got that. And coming over here. I forget what you guys said to do for this, but I'm just going to keep doing it my own way and failing miserably until I learn. But I got them. So how's that, Bradley? I got them on there. And I actually like the white more than the red. I think the, I think the white really stands out. So get out of my face. But now I have extra red kicks for paint jobs and things of that nature. So that's what makes makes me excited. Need more of that. Need to get a bunch of those. But we're not done yet, Brad, because we have to get our rock fixed up. And it's not going to be a lot of stuff with the rock. You know, we're just taking off these elbow pads right here. I got to get my custom shirt order in here. Because if I get my custom short, sh short, my shirt order in here, God, in heaven, the elbow peg is in joints trying to eat the elbow pad. I get my custom shirt in here. I probably should have just waited on this fix-up, but I feel like uh, it'll still be fine because then his pants are already on. All he's got to do is throw his shirt on, eat his cereal, and go out the door to the bus stop. You know what I mean? So should be relatively simple. Get this elbow pad off right here. Slide Jesus in heaven and slide that off right there. And now... He's ready to go because he didn't wear elbow pads with the with the look I'm going for. Now, it's not completely accurate, I'm going to be honest. Need, uh, I think it's the Elite 31 Rock or Elite 30 Rock, I think. I think it was Elite 31 that had the, the stripes on the pants, the cloth goods pants is what I need. Or maybe it's Elite 30 Brock Lesnar. Whichever one it is, I need a copy of those pants, man. So if anybody out there has a copy of those jogging pants that have the two white stripes down the side, I have a couple of them, but they're on my other rocks. And so I had this extra black pair just kind of laying around, so I figured I'd put them to good use and make this version of the Rock. I'm I'm very shocked we've never seen a Rock Elite from 2001 in that exact look with the, you know, like the 9-11. The 9-11 Smackdown show is where, like, the look is probably the most prominent, but that's like my favorite Rock ever. So that's what I'm hoping Mattel can make for us, but... 
There we go. We got his pants on there. Rock is ready to go. We're ready to roll, if you know what I'm saying. But now we got to put our shirts on our Usos and put our sting head sculpt on this suited body. And the sting on the suited body is not going to go completely. Like, of course, you can just pop this head off, but it will not go on there. So, either I'm just going to have... You guys can see what I'm going for. It actually is kind of bad, A, eh? because he's actually got, like, the face paint with the suit and tie is actually kind of nasty. But I'm either going to have to Dremel out the head sculpt a little bit to have it sit on there or I'm gonna have to uh, put some sticky tack on there but I have to repaint this but you guys will see what it looks like at the end not the complete thing I gotta save that for another day but I'm gonna go ahead and throw these shirts on the Usos fix that sting head and then I'll see you guys for everything we've done here today on action figure surgery all right guys so here's everything that we did here today on action figure surgery Really epic day. I feel like every single time we get done with these action figure surgery episodes, when I look up and I see the amount of figures we have, it's like it, it's like we start off with seven figures and we end up with 12 at the end. Am I, am I tripping or is that not the facts? But here today, man, we do have the sting in the suit. And a huge shout out to my man Sean Cook again for the idea. think it looks great. Of course, once I paint the head sculpt, it'll look a whole lot better. But I think it turned out damn good, and I'm really excited for the double-jointed arms and stuff like, like, like on this figure. I think it looks great. Low-key, again, with the face paint, with the red bow tie and little uh, pocket handkerchief or handkerchief right here, it, it like, really completes the look. I think this looks sweet, so I'm actually really excited for this custom. I can't wait to finish that one here in the next few days, maybe. Next up, we have the Jimmy Uso Elite 95 picks up with the Elite 64 Jimmy head sculpt, and this looks solid. You know, I like that he's yelling. I think he's a bit bare on the top part, you know, but at the same time, I think he looks dope. The J's look really sweet. Again, I probably need to put these on the updated J or Jimmy that we put over there, but I still think it's a cool fix up, you know. It gives you a little bit of change of pace there. We also have our couple Rollins here. Both of these look sweet, man. This Rollins here with the white gear, with the white and black jacket, with this head sculpt looks absolutely phenomenal. I am loving the way this turned out. That might be an Instagram-worthy post right there, man. I think that looks absolutely incredible and then the Seth Rollins Elite 99 picks up isn't you know earth shattering or anything like that but it still looks damn good I like this as well both of these turned out great and they add to the Rollins shelf and that's what we love to do we also have our Usos over here and these look great man I want to know down in the comment section below which ones you guys like more you like the white gear or the red gear and I think they're both epic I think they both you know add to it I wish that Jimmy had a white sleeve, and maybe these guys had black sleeves or red sleeves that would really add to it, or at least an arm or whatever, but both of these look incredible, man. The PWR Lucha shirts look great on these figures. I'm glad to have updated Usos here, or just like, to change of pace, you know? So now you have the red Usos, you have your black jogger Usos, and you have your white. So look at this, if we get them over here, and then we bring this one over here, and then you bring, you gotta get Jimmy over here, and you throw him in there, and now look, now we have... Red Jogger Usos, Black Jogger Usos that I waited just years for. And then, we, and then we have White Jogger Usos. So the more the merrier. I love the Uso figures. They're very fun to collect. And especially when you dress them up in different gears and accessories and stuff like that. They look phenomenal. You can't, you can't F with you know what I'm saying. Outside of that, we do have the, the leader of the bloodline over here. We got the Rock, and he's missing his Just Bring It shirt. But I think this is a good, you know, it's a good, uh, it's a good stance to have until we get the custom shirt in here. But the Rock figure looks fantastic. And last but not least, we have the Rollins, which... It's just a trash fit. Elite 99 head on the fan takeover body. Not nothing to write home about. But bring the big dog in here. And now look. Now we got... Uh, this is what... The, this is probably the match that we should have gotten at WrestleMania this year. I think it really wrote itself. But I am over the moon about, you know, Cody Rhodes taking on Roman Reigns. I'm really excited for it. I want to see it. I'm hyped for the, the Usos versus Sammy and KO that we're eventually going to get. This all just looks beautiful to me. I, I'm high for it, man. I, I really don't have any ill will towards what we're getting, but this still, this is still a really cool image to see all these up next to each other. But that's going to wrap up Extra Figure Surgery, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. You'll never be